Chapter 2. Freeing the Motivated You Motivating yourself is a battle. On one side is the primitive you that seeks instant gratification. On the other is the evolved you that knows you need to work in order to receive greater rewards later on. The primitive you will distract you from your ultimate goals. And if you don't fight back and really tame and conquer it, the primitive you will tame and conquer you. This is a constant internal war that's happening whether we like it or not. So we must fight back and conquer our primitive selves if we want to achieve great things. The primitive parts of us are scared of things that we shouldn't be scared of. Take public speaking, for example. There's usually no threat of mortal danger when speaking in front of a crowd, so there's no logical reason to be afraid. And yet, that is one of the most common fears amongst all people. Sometimes people are so afraid of failure that they don't even want to try. This is completely irrational, but nevertheless, I get these kinds of emails all the time. Well, what if I put in all my effort and I don't get to my goal? Then I would be so disappointed, I'd go into a big, huge depression and my whole life would be over. So in this episode, I want to share with you my methods and philosophies on how I conquered my fears and became motivated. These are the things I wrote down and practiced as a student, not even having begun my career yet, and they have led me to where I am today. These are the things I choose to believe in. And if you believe in them too, you're destined for success. But you must believe fully. First thing is, success is determined by effort and improvement, not by whether or not you achieve that thing you were after. For example, if you enter an art contest, success is not determined by whether or not you win the contest, but by whether or not you squeeze every ounce of effort out of your abilities. That may sound trite, but it's true. We have to get out of this frame of mind that success is only measured in terms of material rewards. Success is determined by whether or not you put forth 100% effort, and if you are painting and creating to improve. Don't occupy yourself with competing against others. We're all on our own journeys. If you want to compete with someone, compete with yourself. Think of it this way. If you're among a group of people who are just trying to break into the industry, it wouldn't make sense to compete with them because winning would only give you a false sense of security. You might think that you're so great for being the best among your group, but you would forget that you aspire for much greater things than that group has accomplished. So it's really a hollow victory. However, if you compete with yourself, your success will only guarantee constant and continued improvement. Your potential would then be endless. So always compare yourself to yourself and nobody else. Measure your success in terms of your personal growth and the growth of your work. Open your eyes and learn about what everybody else is doing. But remember, we are all on our own paths. Thinking like this will allow you to control whether or not you've succeeded. The famous award-winning character Hellboy was created by artist Mike Mignola out of his love for his art and desire to create something for himself. I briefly toyed with the idea of trying to do a commercial comic, like my, my version of Batman, mm -hmm. but I figured I wouldn't have any fun doing it and, you know, I'd spend a year doing it and nobody would buy it and then I would have wasted my time, so why don't I take a shot at doing exactly what I want. So if it doesn't work, and, and believe me, I didn't think it would work, um, but even if it doesn't work, then I've got something on the shelf someday after years of you know, crawling through, you know, on my hands and knees through the comic business, begging for work and doing work I hate. At least I'd have one thing on my shelf where I'd say, gee, once when I was relatively young, I, I drew the kind of book I wanted to draw. Today, Hellboy is the star of numerous comic books, a series of novels, two animated films, two feature films, and a line of toys. There are few independent artists who have done what Mike has done. So he has had few people to compete with. Instead, 
he competes with himself, and that allows him to continue pushing his art and characters to greater and greater heights. Schoolism Live Workshops is a fantastic opportunity to learn from your Schoolism teachers live, in person, when you receive education from someone that is known for what they do, successful at it. It's learning on a whole new level, being taught their personal techniques, methods, philosophies that have taken their amazing careers to where they are today. The experience of going to a Schoolism Live workshop is truly education evolved. So people are saying, they're looking at a person and they're saying, okay, I want to represent, I want to capture the idea with, with, a, with an image, right? So this would, might be something similar to what the cavemen were doing, right, with, when they're trying to depict a person. Rather, I want to make sure I'm clear with my idea, right? We're talking about clarity of ideas, right? And then what ends up happening is I start enhancing it and adding more. Um, sort of like my sketch style. I start simple, light, and then build and build and build. Even as a working professional, you have to stay sharp. You have to keep evolving, keep learning. Because our industry is evolving. And for artists to keep up, or better yet, get ahead, the best way to do that is to learn from the people that are already there. That's why I love like hanging out with more artists, because we can go on for days just talking about art. I love it, right? Hi, I'm Katie. I came all the way from Michigan to come to the Schoolism workshops of today, and um, I'm so glad I did. They were amazing. I learned so much. Um, very interactive, and uh, picked up some great tips, and I hope they continue to do more of them, because I'll be coming back. Come check us out, and stay tuned as Schoolism Live Workshops visits a city near you.